Hello, today's devotional can be found in 2 Samuel chapter 23, verse 15. And David longed and said, Oh, that one would give me a drink of the water of the well of Bethlehem, which is by the gate. Okay. So, people sometimes long to be exposed to the gospel of Jesus Christ or be given an inkling of hope that their life is not worthless because of whatever circumstances they may be in. And they pray for someone to be sent into their lives that they might be able to be brought to the living water that is, that is the gospel of Jesus Christ and even just have a taste, even if they can't have all of it right away. Because then just a taste of the water to them will give them hope and remind them that life is worth living and it will give them hope and reassurance that the Lord will come for them, that he hasn't forgotten them. The living water is by the one of many gates we must pass through in order to truly be able to come back to our Heavenly Father. After drinking of the water of the well of the Lord, we are invited to have faith in it and repent through the atonement of Jesus Christ and be baptized by immersion and <coughs> receive the gift of the Holy Ghost by the laying on of hands. And we are invited to do these things that we may have joy. And we really don't know how much people yearn for the Lord sometimes. I mean, we ha some of us have the Lord in our lives constantly and we should be very careful not to take it for granted because if we take it for granted and assume that he will always be there the spirit will always be there no matter what we do we might put ourselves in a position where the spirit is not there and we are in a place where the lord's spirit cannot enter and protect us so we need to not take the Lord's presence in our lives. For granted, we need to appreciate him each and every day and all that he has done for us. Because there are some who long but cannot have access to the Lord's teachings or access to anything about the Lord because of whatever circumstances they may be in that may not allow it. I mean, some people will have to wait, and they have had to wait until after they're dead, but there are teachers on the other side of all calibers that all may know of the living water that is the gospel of Jesus Christ. Because Heavenly Father knows that earthly circumstances may not permit people to learn of the Lord and embrace what he has to teach and embrace undergoing ordinances that show commitment to the covenants that accompany them. The Lord knows that. That's why we have temples. People go and do sacred ordinances for themselves that they might be able to go do them for others. And so none are forgotten. The Lord wants to offer all that drink of the living water that they may never thirst again and find joy because through the atonement and repentance therein. And they might also find joy in undergoing ordinances of commitment to covenants that can be made. So we should never take what we have for granted because not everyone has the same access to God as we may have. Because sometimes the world can be very cruel and sometimes the world will not allow for access to God.
and we must remember that. Sometimes all people can do is long for a source of infallible hope and long for the true God to come instead of all the worldly gods that are forced upon them. And we need to just know that Heavenly Father will take care of them, but we, in the meantime, need never take God for granted and all that we have because of him yes. some other people don't have that yet but they will we need to appreciate what we have and be of a help to those who have not for we have much to give because of God and Jesus Christ and with that said I love you all so very much and I say these things humbly in the name of Jesus Christ Amen